This is the Emirates Stadium, North London, the beautiful home of Arsenal Football Club. We welcome you here. We invite you to embrace this pivotal weekend in the race to be the champions of the Premier League. White, Saka, White, Rice, oh, smashing header, and the Gunners are firing again, and their eyes are for the skies, a view of the very top, and now Saka, and Erdogan, beautiful feet, and Hammer, through the crowd and straight at the goalkeeper. Oh, Ramsdale's in trouble! Oh, no! He has presented an equaliser to Wiesa. That is an ugly moment. A nasty punctuation mark on what hitherto had been a smooth Arsenal evening. A dreadful personal moment for poor Aaron Ramsdale who waits for this night of opportunity and then suffers this and Tony had a go and Ramsdale was clawing at it what a passage of play that is oh what a header and what a reach by Ramsdale that is a brilliantly acrobatic save from Collins Erdegaard Declan Rice has hit the post that's a fabulous fabulous strike by Declan Rice White, Havertz! How they thirsted for that! In Arsenal's hour of urgent need, Kai Havertz got big! That's a mighty, mighty goal! Brilliant, brilliant football. Arsenal, top of the league, if only for one night! Why were they made to sweat? Right in the first half, Wiesa's equaliser, and then Havertz on 86. Arsenal have done their business. Now, Rebecca, now, Liverpool and City, it's over to you. Anfield, when it really matters, the exhilarating awareness on all sides of what this day can mean. Ten weeks from now, someone somewhere will be crowned. Today we have the reigning champions on the turf of those who would depose them. Anfield, eyeball to eyeball with the reigning champions. Bernardo Silva skipping clear. Here is Julian Alvarez, and Alvarez got a shot away, which Kelleher. Connor Bradley! Across the goal. Endo, Elliott, McAllister, He's offside. and Darwin Nunez swept in by Diaz and up goes the flag. Bernardo Silva, fantastic, did well to lever it up and away from both his own goal and Haaland. De Bruyne stones! He squeezed it in at the near post! Champions lead at Anfield. Well, there for Pep Guardiola is his centre half of all places, John Stones, the man beyond category, beyond pigeonhole. Solid line. And still, Luis Diaz. Oh, that's close. Yeah, warning shot. I think City are causing their own problems. They've slowed the passing down. And his back pass. Yes, yeah. is there. Anderson came. Penalty. And he has the ball. <laughs> McAllister. A moment that matters. One mighty red roar. What inch. Game on. Let the chaos begin. He goes the right way, the goalkeeper, but the power beats him. Salah, that's a smashing ball for Luis Diaz! 
steered it wide. Diaz! Nicked off his toe by Walker. Lewis Diaz, you've had this game in your hands. Robertson Nunez! Great block, Ortega. Hasn't he read that well? It's Jeremy Doku who's hit the inside oh. of the post. Oh, my goodness me. The end. This compelling plot thickens. The final Club Guardiola handshake and embrace signifies a truce. Nothing between them. So much between them over the years. How we will miss their compelling shared narrative. And so, in its own grand manner, Wembley embraces the entirely familiar. Chelsea, Liverpool again. One of the rich, recurrent rivalries of the 21st century. There are people so at home in this special place, so utterly au fait with this occasion. Red and blue, north and south, Albert Bridge and Albert Dock. So much separates them, and yet so frequently their modern histories collide. And here they are. Palmer. Jackson, no flag. Sterling's up. Jackson's on his way. Raheem Sterling! Now the flag's up. Well, Mark Scholes delayed his flag, and in that circumstance, you understand why. He had to allow the move to finish. It did finish with the ball in the net, and now it's about lines and millimetres. And he's offside, yeah, offside. McAllister. Diaz. Robertson! Oh, he's hit the post as Gakpo, and Chilwell scrapes it clear. Been looking at that back post since the start of the game. Robertson played it in. Van Dijk! <laughs> On the hour, the man! And there's your the Liverpool leader, your Liverpool legend. And there is your Liverpool lead. There's a review. There's a review for offside. There's a review for offside. And the goal is disallowed. Palmer driving up Robertson. Cole Palmer! Oh, it's against the post from Gallagher. Wow. The sense of understanding from Liverpool supporters is unsurprising. They get it. They know what they're watching here. It's becoming unwatchable. In by Simicas! Denied once, but not again. And the ribbons are red. It is Liverpool's cup. A vast glittering adornment on Jurgen Klopp's grand farewell. On an irresistible tide of emotion, he and they have made it happen. The Klopp kids, the Klopp kids. This weekend they faced Hereford, five years ago they went to Fleetwood, today it is the 20 time champions of the land, so why would they not relish it? He's in for more, and it's uh, heaved away by Casemiro, for Hoyland to chase, and Hoyland's through the middle, and Hoyland has scored promptly, six in a row, and in no time at all. It's becoming more than a streak. He now expects to score. The youngest player ever in the history of the Premier League to score in six successive games. Hoyland, that's beautiful. Fernandez and Osho did well. Shaw with left-footed outswing. 
And back in by Garnacho, and it's bubbled apologetically over the line. And Manchester United are two to the good via, I suspect, a Hoyland deflection. He steps Maguire, the captain, and he's kept on moving as Harry Maguire. He's joining in here, and Rashford's dancing. Marcus Rashford! United are at it. Doughty. Chong! In went Morris! Luton have an interest! Captain Courageous threw in his head! And the contest is ignited. Luke Berry in. It got its flick and it hit the crossbar from Ross Barkley. The end. And Manchester United roll on. Hoyland once more. Their emerging, growing, blossoming superstar. Two very prompt goals. After which their ongoing progress for Ten Hag was actually far from serene. For Manchester United though, four wins in a row. Seven weeks seven games into 2024 and still nobody has beaten them a day of heady possibility a day of just imagine amid this frenzy imagine if arsenal 20 years since the last time if liverpool in pursuit of the utopian club climax if either somehow could pull this thing off of course we do have a classy champion not easily to be deposed but if anyone can it is very likely one of these. Well, Mikel Arteta needed no cajoling to offer his warm analysis of a departing rival. He recognises the enormous big-picture contribution of a rival he is now obliged to beat. Well oh, played by David Rock. He's in Ari and so is Martinelli. And Konate's work is cut out here. Martinelli oh. steering past him. Oh. And Saka couldn't make telling contact. He's at Nice, this season at Marseille, and then it really began. Odegaard. Havertz is on his way here. Alisson stops him. Saka scores. Arsenal obliged and on their way. A day that has to happen for them begins ideally. Here's Ravenberg, here's Diaz. Beyond Saliba, and Schotter watched it over the line. It's a mess of a goal. Gabriel may have had the telling touch in amongst a maelstrom of awfulness. This place has gone silent. Let it bounce, Martinelli showed an interest, oh. and Martinelli rolled it in! Curious, and for Liverpool, catastrophic. How can that happen? Look down and wonder, Liverpool introspection. Arsenal thrill. Trossard is free here, clear of Elliot. Leandro Trossard! You grin or your grimace. Jurgen Klopp disbelieving. How? How can that happen? Well, it's happened because his right back's been taken off and his right centre back's been sent off. Arsenal are right in the thick of it again. Suddenly, once more, Arsenal a principal contender as the wings of the Liver Bird are clipped. In so many ways, a peculiar game. Saka gave Arsenal a lead. And after that, one curiosity followed another. A strange old goal, own goal right on half-time. Gabriel 1-1. And then Arsenal goals in the second half, which, based on experience and knowledge, seem inconceivable. Confusion between Alisson and Van Dijk, of all people, for Martinelli to make it 2-1. And then Trossard between the legs of the imperious Allison for 3-1. And Arsenal are right on the shoulder of the leaders. So Bobby Charlton for the world, for England, for Manchester United. 
Rodri. Walker's appeared. Foden! Away by Nana! And Haaland couldn't poke it in! Alvarez plays it in. Diaz was attacking it. Dallow was attentively close to it. He's going to get his drink the other side of the goal. Stratford end and City are on their way. Bernardo Silva and Haaland had to. Erling Haaland massive everywhere he goes. And on behalf of Pep Guardiola, a year this month since Erling Haaland hit a derby debut hat trick at the Etihad. Rodri clouted it, Onana reacted, Haaland's onto it, and Foden steers it home. Manchester City gloriously greedy. It's another blue derby day. And football friends indeed they are. Haaland and Foden, who between them a year ago ripped up Manchester United at the Etihad, are now tearing them asunder again at Old Trafford in their own city, at their own tempo, in their own time, as they want it. Manchester City are the kings of Manchester again. Erling Haaland is their crown prince. He scored two of the three and indeed he teed up Foden for the third. Palmer, that's a really good ball and Gusto's onto it and Jackson's through the middle. It is Nicholas Jackson. Edison shut out the light. Jackson, well, that's a lovely touch. Palmer. Now, what has Jackson got? He's got Sterling for company, and he has found Raheem Sterling. And Sterling scores for Chelsea on the top of former friends. And the champions trail on their own patch. There's a twist in the tail. De Bruyne. Haaland, no! Haaland, no! And the goal gate. And these are certainly key moments. De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva. Walker. Rodley. Yeah! Has finally beaten Chelsea down. And lashed it into the roof. And now they have eight minutes to win it. Rodri insisted for City. Chelsea have defied the champions. Manchester City falter at home. Pochettino's team were brave. How mighty brave they were. They led for so much of it. Raheem Sterling on a ground where once he was a hero. Manchester City battered away. They battered down the door. And finally they found their way through Rodri. Kelly, thank you. What a, what a thrilling energy. What further there is in this wonderful old place. On the day when perhaps we discover further what is ambitious reality and what is Holt End fantasy. Are Villa really still playing for the biggest prize or at the other extreme? Could it be that a re-energised, refocused Manchester United are ready to reel them in? Fernandes delivers, Maguire's up again and Hoyland sweeps it in! For rock and roll Rasmus, this is becoming a habit. Maguire got big and made it happen. But Hoyland is getting bigger week on week. To clear as well, but there's Watkins. And here is John again. Oh! That's a fabulous save because that was a vicious hit. Oh, that was brilliant from John McGinn. He's getting some in. Oh. It was stuck. Goals by Longre. Five back in by Bailey. Well, it's been coming, that goal for Aston Villa. The ball for Maynou. Dallo. Manchester United still the lead. Scott McTominay bounces off the bench and makes the difference again. And what a difference that might be. Well, it looked like those two substitutions had killed the game.
It might be, it still might be for Manchester United. Their tepid autumn into winter is warming now into spring. Manchester United, three wins in a row, enjoying life again and going places. Going perhaps back into the Champions League. That is still to be, of course, decided over the weeks and months to come. But that competition is back on their radar. Aston Villa are certainly back in their sights. Just five points between them now.